Hi right, guys, how you doing? Hope you're all well. Sorry that it's been a long time since I've posted. I've noticed that the channel's grown a lot, so thank you very much everyone that's subscribed. What I want to do now going forward is I want to share my work with you because I'm just working really hard at work and I'm coming home and doing a bit more work at home as well. And I'm, I'm loving it. I'm literally enjoying life a lot, you know, since I graduated a year ago and I've grown a lot in this past year. So yeah, what I want to do is I'd like to start sharing my work with you. And I figured one great way that I can do that is if I give myself a project that I can work that I can work on at home after work and I could do it along with you guys. Because the thing is, if I don't record a video for two weeks, three weeks, and then I show you my work, then there's going to be big jumps and stuff like that. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to do a project whereby you guys can see me develop something step by step. So what I've got is I've got this. So this is uh, Siemens Tier Portal. If you don't know what it is, don't worry about it. But basically, it's, it's a controls engineering uh, PLC programming software. And what I'm doing is I'm using WinCC Unified and I'm developing HMIs for that. So this screens here that you've seen were all developing WinCC Unified. I didn't actually do those screens. Those were done by another one of my colleagues. Um, but yeah, so this is the kind of system that we're building um, for customers. And so what I'd like to do is using WinCC Unified, I'd like to develop a SCADA system for my workplace. And so what the plan is at work, we've got so I, my company, they sell hydraulics, so either hydraulic systems. So one half of the business is hydraulic systems, which is the half that I work in. And then the other half is just hydraulic pumps. So they manufacture design pumps, manufacture them, uh, test them and then ship them out to customers. So what I would like to do is I'm very weak on the hydraulic side. So I want to get a lot better at that hydraulic side of things. And so my plan is, since I want to grow in controls engineering as well, I would like to develop a SCADA system for all the stuff that we have at work. And so what the plan is there is we've got uh, six test rigs at work, which I can show you here. So this is the site layout of my work and then I've got a generator up here. So this is a diesel generator and then we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then a sixth test stand. And so these test rigs, they're used to test hydraulic pumps basically. And so what I'd like to do is I'd like to be able to develop a SCADA system for the whole company that way. So as an example, the director of the company, he lives half the year in the UK and the other half the year lives abroad. And so I'd like to make it so that he could see relevant data to him whilst he's away. And at the same time, the people on site can see relevant data to them. So I'm thinking of doing some cool stuff like, so for example, you can click on a generator, takes you and it pulls information from the PLCs uh, that we have on site and then gets information about the generator. So literally this, what you're seeing here is I'm about an hour, hour and a half into it. So I've just started. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to just grow this SCADA system with you guys. So on site, we have a bunch of PLCs. So we've, we've got what you would call is all of this area here is called the test bed to us. And so we've got a whole bunch of electrical panels and there's one main CPU, a Siemens S7 300. That's generally controlling most of the rigs. And then we have like some other 1500s controlling these two rigs. And then we have another test box, uh, which has a 1200 and the 8200 SP. We've got a whole bunch of headers. So there's a whole bunch of PLCs out there. Now they do communicate in some way, but we don't pull any data back from it. And so I'd like to be able to pull data from it. I don't want to make this a control system whereby, you know, from home. So I'm sitting at home now. I don't want to be able to like go onto valve test and then start turning things on. So I don't want to give control to the system. But I, w I just want to be able to pull data from it. So what I've done is I've taken the WinCC Unified template suite. I've stuck in... I've stuck uh, my site layer on top of it. I've just put a bunch of boxes. So just to replicate the test stands themselves. And then I've made it so that when you click on it, it jumps you to the page, which is supposed to be. So I clicked on PS2 there. And that took me to, that says PS1. So I need to correct that. And let's go PS1 there. Yeah, same one. Yeah, so what I'd like to do is, oh, they're all PS1, why? Okay, so, okay, fine. So I haven't done this one yet. So these are all going to PS1, but if you click down here, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, PS5, Ralph test. So these are the various different test stands. So 
I want to grow this system and I want to do it alongside with you. I'm not going to do it like step by step so that if, you know, if I work on it for three hours, I'm not going to do a three hour video. But I'm, I figured if I do like three hours over one week and then collect that into one video for, you know, for 10 minutes and show you guys what, where, where I'm going. So, I mean, I, I can do some wild things like I'm thinking, <laughs> which I don't know if I'd be allowed to do this, but I could really like. So this is this is the outside. This is the car park out here. And I could, for example, put a Razi Pi there and then I could know when the car parks, the car spots are full and I could display that on here. <laughs> now, now again, is that useful to anybody? Probably not. So I probably wouldn't do it, but I'd like to be able to display, you know, the oil level of the generator, how much fuel it's using. So I put some little things here like status, power, runtime hours, fuel level, fuel used, used for fuel costs, last run, etc. So. Yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I'm thinking about doing. If you have any ideas, let me know. I figured I'd just, you know, I want to keep you guys in the loop and I don't want you guys to, uh, I don't want to not post videos. And yeah, I just, I, I want to share this journey, especially because, you know, the channel's grown a lot and I was, I did a great job documenting my university and I would like to do the same for my career as well. So yeah, hopefully you guys appreciate this. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, next video, I should upgrade this a fair bit. I look forward to that. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.